what's up everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi i'm jashley and first of all i just want to say thank you for clicking on today's video i really hope that you guys stick around and hit the subscribe button and join my little youtube family so today's video as you can tell by the title is going to be a how to be productive with online school mostly college because i'm in college but yeah so this video is going to be everything that you need to do in order to be productive especially when you're in your house because i know that being in your house can make you less productive because i know it's made me less productive but i'm going to show you guys some of the tips that i have learned throughout this entire online school experience that really have helped me be a more productive person when it comes to school so yeah let's get right into the video so the first thing that i do every single day is i start the morning off and i make a to-do list for the day now the to-do list doesn't have to be super super long but i just like making myself a little to-do list in order to know every single thing that i have going on throughout the day whether it be school stuff or random stuff here i'm just writing like making my bed doing things that aren't really school related but i do have one thing that i need to do which is taking my notes i really recommend taking your time making a to-do list because it's a really good reminder every single day of just the small things that you have going on it doesn't really need to be that crazy it doesn't need to be super long it just needs to be the most important things that you have to do every single day as you can see here i'm showing you guys what i have to do today it's not super long but it's convenient so this is a to-do list that i made for today not too crazy like i said not too long but these are just the things that i have going on today so i'm going to take that off and then i already made my bed i set up my camera because that's what i'm doing right now so now i have to take my notes for my corrections class so if you guys watch my how to prepare for a new semester college video with me then you would know that to take notes i now use my ipad this is the 12.9 inch ipad pro which i really recommend because it honestly feels like you're writing in a normal um like notebook so it the size honestly even though it's really big and everyone's like oh my god it's too big i find it perfect because it literally feels like you're writing on a regular notebook another thing about this ipad is i have this screen protector which is like a dupe paper like protector from amazon it basically sounds like you're writing on paper when you write so that's another plus of having an ipad i also use my macbook to take notes not necessarily to take notes but to look at the powerpoints more you can also use this to write your notes but obviously you can't write on it like you can on the ipad personally now that i have both i would honestly recommend the ipad more just because you can honestly use it as a laptop you can literally buy the keyboard you can buy it from apple or you can buy it from amazon which is obviously cheaper you can literally use it as a laptop you can use it to type you can use it to look at powerpoints to literally read everything and the plus about this is that you can annotate every single thing that you look at whereas on this it's more complicated you have to but that you have to download an application to like highlight things that you have to export everything to word to highlight it whereas on the ipad you can literally just do everything in like 10 seconds so yeah i would definitely recommend the ipad more it's just more convenient and you can do a lot more things on it but if you are more of a laptop person then definitely the macbook but yeah if you guys want a more in-depth um video comparing the two then i would be more than happy to do that just comment that down below okay so in these clips i'm just preparing to take my notes i'm getting the powerpoint out and everything i've made note taking a part of my daily schedule and i feel like it's made me very productive because i just take some time out of my day to take notes and learn more about what's going on in my class i know that it can be hard because you're in at home all day and you just don't feel like doing any schoolwork. but i promise you that makes 
making note taking a part of your daily schedule it's just a very good refresher of what's going on in your class and it'll make you do much much better in it we've been talking everything now yeah you've been calling for the night out i go competition only complications what yeah so we ain't gotta tell you girl now mm. you can meet me on our way out Ooh. So now that I'm done taking notes, I can just cross it out and plan for the rest of the week. So planning is super important when you're doing online school because everything can just be jumbled up and you don't know when anything is due. Personally, I've gone through that. I'm pretty sure that all of us have at least once forgotten an assignment because everything was online and you didn't really know when the deadline was or when the due date was and this and that. So planning is super, super important to be productive in online school. Personally, I use my happy planner from Creating with Lucy, which I will link down below if you guys are interested. This is the student planner, but she has a bunch of different planners for like life planners, financial planners, all types of planners. You can access this planner and pretty much any online planner on a MacBook, a laptop, any laptop, uh, iPad, any tablet, I'm pretty sure. Um, but you don't, obviously you don't have to do an online planning. You can buy any planner from Target, Walmart. I know Target has really cute planners, because my dog is barking in the back, I'm so sorry. But I know that Target has really cute planners. I know this because I used to have them from Target. I used to buy them from Target and they would be really nice. They would be really convenient. So I'm just going to show you guys what it looks like when I plan everything out. Um, this does, this planner also does have a weekly view and it does have like a to-do list and everything, notes, do this week, all that type of stuff. So if you are interested in this planner, I will link it down below. But yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how I plan plan my week out on my planner. I saw him, but it doesn't compare. And I saw a dream that it was you, not in the oh, oh I, I have was Cause you were sweet to me, and I wasn't prepared. So obviously if you guys have seen my last college vlog then you would know that i'm still not in school so this is basically what my week would typically look like i tried to like mimic how i plan everything so that you guys could get a better picture of it and i'm not just writing random stuff down so this is what i mean by planning is really important because a lot of this stuff i would probably forget so monday um i just put down a random appointment um i put down a paper that's due take instagram picture because why not and then i have study for my corrections exam which like i said this is just a 
prototype of like what my week would actually look like but i'm pretty sure i would probably have an exam i would probably have a paper due then tuesday i have go to the store to buy a book study for a say quiz all of these little things like go to the store i would typically forget so that's why it's really important for me to plan everything out wednesday i just put free day then i have the corrections exam that's due that day um which sometimes honestly i would forget because of all the classes that i have to, that i'm taking and then I have psych quiz due today and then grab lunch with a random friend. But yeah, so that's what my week would typically look like when I'm in school, especially when I'm taking a bunch of classes. Because like you guys know, if you see my last video, I'm taking six credits. So that's another thing that we can cross off the list. So I have a few lists of things that I wanted to talk about to be productive in college. One of them is to plan out your entire semester. I know that this video is mainly like during school, like when you're already in school, but if you haven't started yet and you have nothing better to do and you already got your syllabus and everything, then it would, it's a great idea. It's a great idea to plan out your entire semester from start to finish. I personally do this because it helps me when I don't really know if when anything's due i just look at my plan and i'm like oh i have something to do that day and then i can like look, go look at it and see like what it is that i have to do if i don't already know and yeah that's a really good one that i personally have learned the hard way to do but you should do it too another thing that's super important is to create a positive study and environment this is my desk there's not a lot on it but that's okay i have these little notes right here that say <laughs> random stuff because like i said i'm not in school yet so i just put random things as I would during the semester with, you can put, if you're taking math classes, you can write formulas on here that you need to remember, important due dates, like exam dates and all that type of stuff. But yeah, subscribe for more college vlogs, definitely. But yeah, I just have my iPad here, my MacBook, my to-do list, which I have open to see. And then I have everything with my pencils, my markers and my sticky notes and scissors because you know, you need scissors. But yeah, this is my little environment when I'm here. I feel much better than being in my bed, although I love my bed, but I like being here when I'm doing all my school things and yeah. Okay guys, so one of the biggest things that you will need in order to be successful in online school, I don't know about high school, but in college, this is literally essential. You will literally fail properly if you do not do this. You will not do good. I promise you. You need to check your email, constantly check your email, literally check your email every single morning when you wake up make sure your notifications are on for that email for your school email and literally check it every single day because a lot of times your professors they might put something on like canvas or blackboard or whatever you use but sometimes and i know this personally sometimes the notifications don't show up but they send the same thing in an email and that's what i get as a notification so yeah and half the time it's very important stuff relating to like the class or assignments or anything like that or just random announcements from the class so yeah check your email <laughs> as you can tell i have a lot of emails obviously like i said i'm still not in school so i haven't like gotten emails every single day from my professors but usually in a normal semester which i will show you guys in the future when i start school you will start getting emails from your professors about sometimes when class starts because sometimes during online school the classes start at different times because professors just don't want to teach at a certain time i don't know that's happened to me so my professor would basically email us every time we had a class saying class is going to be at this time today or this time today or we're not gonna have class today so it's very convenient for you and yeah so please check your email that's one of the biggest things in college and yes another really big tip to be productive is if you're doing work for a long period of time please remember to get up and take a break if you need it here's a clip of me coming into my room with mcdonald's this is the food that i got because i was just working way too hard taking notes and doing all this stuff and i wanted to give myself a little reward with eating and watching anime so yeah just please remember to not overwork yourself and to take breaks as needed last but not least i found it really helpful to go on youtube and look up study music while i'm studying and usually these songs don't have any lyrics they're instrumental but they do have like a variety of the kind of instrumental like pop anything you like and here i'm going on apple music and i'm also searching up study music because i have apple music on my phone and my ipad and yeah as you can see 
there are a bunch of playlists that people have created and apple music has also created which has a bunch of study songs so yeah and that's the last tip so unfortunately guys that's all of the tips i have for you guys today on how to be productive in school college all of that but if you guys have some more suggestions that you want other people to see then please feel free to leave them down in the comments and i might even include them in a part two to this video if you know if people want more tips and more tricks on how to be successful in college but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and i hope that it motivates you to be more productive um i know that i got a lot of things done today just with that to-do list that i made um the one thing i do still have to do is paint my nails <laughs> but i did get everything else done i took my notes i planned everything out um and yeah so i was very productive overall and i hope that you guys got something out of this video in order to make you guys more productive for school but yeah if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and that bell notification so that you guys can get notified every single time i post a brand new video but yeah i hope that you guys enjoyed today's video i will see you guys in my next one bye